I don't mind plantain. Yeah, so you don't like, you like plantain? Yes. What do you like about it? The shape, how it tastes? How it tastes, the sweetness, the ripe ones. It was perfect. So you like everything about it? Yes. Including the shape? Yes. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's good. I always have plantain on me. Like, all the time. Mm. So you would never have to worry about... <laughs> <laughs> this is not a dating show. This is a blind social experiment where we got people in an attempt to answer the age-old question. Is it possible to form a connection with the opposite sex without seeing each other at all? We put 15 minutes on the clock and offered our daters a few lifelines to help them out. Video call a friend. A dater gets to rely on a friend to give a visual description of their potential match through a video call. Sneak peek. A dater gets to sneak a peek at the social media of their potential match. Here's the catch. Faces are blurred out in photos. During the date, they are both allowed to skip only one question that's asked of them. Every other question must be answered. When the time is up, both daters have a choice. If they form a connection and both say yes, they get to meet. If both or anyone says no, they will never see each other. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Peeker. Hi, my name is Torira. I'm 22 years old. I'm a fashion designer, model, and video vixen. My name is Moses, aka Moses LDN. I am 23 years old and I'm a content creator, personal trainer, graduate, and I do a lot of things, so I'm just active. The most interesting thing I can think of about myself right now. I travel a lot. I think I traveled at least to 10 different countries this year. So I'm never ever in one place. I'm just always traveling everywhere. I can't sew, but I'm a fashion designer. Does that make sense? My spec is Tom. I like a girl that's like a female version of me. But however, I still want a girl that's very different to me, like a little aspect. Very tall because I'm 5'10", obviously. Um, dark skinned. I like pretty boys too. Tattered boys. So I tend to go out a lot. So if I can find a girl that's more of an inside girl, more relaxed because I'm very hyper, then I think I'd be very happy. I have zero expectations, just vibes. I don't really believe this will work, but Let's see what can happen today because I don't really think love is blind like that, but we'll find out today. Hello. Hi. Are you okay? I'm very well. How are you? I'm alright. I like your voice. Thank you. So where are you from? I'm from Washington State. Never heard of that. Um, I'm Yoruba. I think I'm from Ondo. Ever heard of that? Yes. Okay, okay. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a fashion designer, model, and video vixen. Oh, okay. Um, when, how long have you been doing video vixen for? Uh, for about three, four years. Okay. Does it pay well? Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. What do you do? Um, I'm a content creator, YouTuber, and I own a car rental business. I do a lot of things. Okay. How old are you? I'm 22. Okay, smooth. How old are you? I was waiting for you to ask. Um, I'm 23. And are you single? Yes, I am. How comes you're single? Sorry? How comes you're single? Why are you single? No reason in particular. I don't know. I feel like there's always a reason for people to be single. Are you looking for love? I'm not actively looking for, but if it happens, that's nice. Okay. And what, what kind of thing do you want a guy to bring to the table for you? I want someone that's kind, first mm. of all, generous, mm -hmm. level-headed, and you know, just calm. I don't like loud people, so I feel like I'm just relaxed, laid back. Yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like there's a missing information you didn't mention. Sorry. I said I feel like there's a missing information you haven't mentioned. There's a what? A missing information that you've not mentioned. What do you think it is? I mean, from what I've heard, every girl from here needs a guy that has money. Is that you as well? I feel like that's standard. I didn't need to mention it. Okay, <laughs> so that's a normal thing. Yeah, there's no two ways about it. So if I was the perfect guy for you and I didn't have money, it you wouldn't... You cannot be the perfect guy if you don't have money. <laughs> really? So all the laid back, all those things, what was that for then? It's usually the ones with money that are laid back. So if they have everything but money, they're not the guy for you. It cannot work. 
Uh, no problem. I can. I understand. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Um, okay. I have a very weird question for you. Brace yourself. What is your body count? Just get straight into it. There's no need for the short talks. Wow. Okay. That's that's a bit of a red flag. Um, the fact that you're hiding it. I'm not hiding it. I don't think it's nobody's business what yeah. I do with my body. You could have just said the same typical lie every girl says and just said, I don't need to lie about it. Whether it's big or small, nobody's going to flog me. I just don't think it's your business. Um, it's not my business, but you know, I just it's I'm, I was a bit curious, but now you've made it a thing that I kinda feel like it's above ten. That's your business. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm six foot two. Okay. But measured wise, six foot one, but I've not been measured in a while. Well, do you like tall guys? Yes. How tall are you? 5'10". Okay, I can still pick you up. That's not bad. I'm taller than you with heels. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You'll still get picked up regardless. You can even be 7'10". Are you big? Am I big? Yes. I'm built. Ooh. But I'm, I'm, I'm big in other aspects. I'm big in a lot of places. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, what body parts of yours are you the most proud of? My face, got snapped. Oh, are you, are you pretty, pretty? Yes. Okay, you said you're a model anyway, so I believe you, I believe you. How long have you been modeling for? Uh, since I was 16. Okay. Weird question. Um, what turns you on? What turns me on? Money. <laughs> Okay, remove money from this. What what normal things for normal human beings turn you on? Oh, I like men that smell nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm big. I'm facing thick. I hope you guys didn't put any pictures that made me look like a show. That was quick. What do you, what do you, what do you think? You have a nice body and your dark skin. So. Oh, is that what you like? Yes. Okay, because I'm tall, dark skin, nice body. But I have money. Sorry to you. Are you pretty? Am I pretty? Um, no. Some say I am, but I'm not. I'm more handsome. Oh. That's not. But what's the issue with that? Basically, make the same thing. No, no, no. I, I look, I look completely different. Don't worry, you don't have anything to worry about. Hmm. <laughs> um, what's the most expensive thing a guy has gotten for you? Uh, a phone. Okay. Yeah. Did you call him when he got you that phone? Yes. Do you used to speak to that guy? No. And do you used to have the phone? Yes. Ha, God. <laughs> And he didn't take it back. Why would he? I don't know. I feel like if I buy you a phone and you don't call me and then we're done and you don't even think about it. Do you, do you still talk to him? Yeah, he's my friend. Oh, okay. So I, oh, so he just bought your phone for no reason as your friend? Sorry? Were you guys dating or did he just buy you a phone for no reason? We, we had a thing. Oh, then you become friends after? Yes. It's a bit of a red flag, but I understand that. Yeah, what do you say? <laughs> you seem very, you seem very, um, what's the word? You seem like unbothered. Is that how you are? I seem what? Like very unbothered. Like you don't really care about a lot of things. Yes, I don't. Okay. I feel like I can change that for you. That would be hard, but okay. Uh, yeah. Tell me five things you find attractive in a babe. In a girl? Yes. Um, I like a girl that's energetic. So someone that wants to like do a lot of things. I like a girl with a nice smile. I like a pretty face girl, like yourself, I'm assuming. And, um, okay, I got two more. I like a girl that's pretty tall, well not like tall, tall. And um, I like an introvert, because I'm an extrovert, so I need someone that can, you know, you know, opposite attract, someone that can teach me how to be indoors. Okay. Are you an introvert? Um, most times, but well, I'm outside when I need to be outside. You're yeah, outside when? I need to be outside. Oh, that doesn't sound bad. I thought you said you're outside every night. 
So during this December, we we out or not? I was outside December. I'm always outside December. It's like I'm inside all through the year. Then December, I'm like outside. Then January, I'm back to default. So mm. outside December. So you're hitting the clubs and so on and so forth. Eat, sleep, club, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's 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 very cute. I don't think I saw you at the club actually. If you I saw, wouldn't have known. No, I would have known because if I saw you, I probably would have spoken to you. Because that's how I am. So you talk to everybody. No, 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 oh, no. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, from what I'm hearing right now, it sounds like you're making sense. But what I'm trying to say is that. I might not have seen you because if I've seen you and you're making sense, I would have spoken to you. You get what I'm trying to say? Relationship. When was my last relationship? Yes. When was it? Yes. Um, it was about a year ago. Okay. Yeah, and the, it was she cheated on me. <laughs> Why are you laughing? How was that funny? <laughs> I was just joking, she didn't cheat on me. So that's what you do if I was if I was telling the truth. Wow. This life. Have you ever been cheated on? Mm, no. Not entirely. It wasn't defined, so I can't call it cheating. Okay, there's a first time for everything anyways. Oh! I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm playing with you, I'm playing with you, I'm playing with you. Um, okay, so what do you think about sex on a first date? I mean, if it happens, it happens. It's not like an outright no thing for me. Okay, so imagine I take you on the best day ever. I don't know, best dinner. We have fun, we catch a vibe, I bring you back to my house. You're saying there's a possibility it could happen? Yeah, if I'm feeling it. Ah, okay. Alright, so where should we go to? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where should we go to? Where do you want to take you? Huh? Where should I take you? <laughs> on a date? Yes, on a date. Why are you taking me on a date? In hopes of sex? Uh huh. So you don't think I can take you on a date? <laughs> Please, no. Okay, you didn't say no properly, so I'll take that as a as a mutual no for now. <laughs> Which is more important, sex or fore foreplay? Sex or foreplay? Yes. Um, I say foreplay because sex itself is it's not as exciting as people think it is. It's just more about the interaction. It's more about the intimacy which comes with foreplay. Um, and that's what makes you enjoy sex a lot more. You know what I mean? Okay. How about you? What do you think? Foreplay. You said that with chest. What do you mean? <laughs> Okay, cool, but you didn't tell me what your body count is, so I can't really, I can't really guess anything like that. Why, why do you even care? No, no, it's just something that people, you know, eventually, if you end up dating, you have to tell me, or you will never tell me. It's not something that you have to know. I, I don't, it's not, it's not a big deal to me, but when you're particular about it, it's like, why do you even care so much? Okay, fair enough. So you never want to know your partner's body count? It's not my business. And you marry that person without wanting to know? Yeah. Damn. I trust my sense of judgment. If you're, you know, a decent person in every other area of life, whatever you're doing with your body is not my business. Okay, well, your sense of judgment may not be correct, but I, I understand your theory. I get why you're saying that. Is that the same sound? <laughs> Can't you let me have this one? You already had one. I want to let you have it. I need it. Um. Since you've seen what I look like a bit, I say I have that of you. So we're on the, we're on the same mutual understanding. Okay, that's fine. Mm, I like you, I like you, I like you, I like you. I feel like you wanted me to see what you look like anyways. You what? So I feel like you wanted me to see what you look like anyways. What? No. Bye. See, you can't do nice things for men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. Mmm. Figure eight. Yeah, she's hot. <laughs> yeah, you look good. You look good. I see. I see why you're a model. You got the. You got the model aesthetics. Mm -hmm. So, how often do you get approached by guys on a on a weekly basis? Because you know I can fight, so I'm just trying to calculate how many guys I have to start fighting. A lot. Uh, okay, cool. I'm gonna have to take my boxing career a lot more serious. I mean, I can see you're always in the gym, so that's a plus. 
All right, so would you come to the gym with me? Yes. Oh, so we could do couples workouts. Oh, bye. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm always at the gym. I work out, I work out quite a lot. My, my health is my wealth. Mm -hmm. um, do you drink? Yes, I do. Do you smoke? Occasionally. Okay, all right. Define occasionally, like Sorry? when you go out. Sorry? I said define what you mean by occasionally. Do you mean like when yeah, you go I'm out? Oh, smooth, smooth, smooth. That's that's not bad. And what's your love language? Uh, receiving gifts and giving gifts. Act of service too. That's nice. I like giving gifts. But I like giving other things as well. I like receiving gifts. I like giving gifts, so I like receiving gifts. What else do you like receiving? Excuse me. What else do you like receiving? Do you like receiving hugs? Do you like yes. receiving... Eh, what? Where is your man taking you to? <laughs> That's a simple question. <laughs> I don't know where your man was taking you to, but I was just trying to find out what else you like receiving. Yes, I like hugs. Okay, cool. Um, what's your favourite meal of the day? Breakfast, lunch or dinner? Dinner. So you don't like breakfast? I always skip breakfast. Okay, so you won't you have to chop breakfast. That's not bad. <laughs> Um, what's your favorite meal linking to that? I don't have a favorite anything, but um, I don't mind plantain. Yeah, so you don't like, you like plantain? Yes. What do you like about it? The shape, how it tastes? How it tastes, the sweetness, the ripe ones. It was perfect. So you like everything about it? Yes. Including the shape? Yes. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's good. I always have plantain on me, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. So you would never have to worry about. <laughs> you never have to worry. You already said yeah, you, but I'm not even surprised. I've always got planted. It's because I don't know. That's my favorite. That's my favorite thing as well about about myself. <laughs> Are you based in Lagos? Yeah, I'm based in Lagos, and I live in the UK as well. But I'm mostly right now in Lagos. But I'm a bit of both. But I don't mind relocating for you. Sorry? I don't mind relocating for you. Please get this guy. <laughs> you think I'm lying? Yes. If I like you and we get along, I don't mind relocating for you. It's not a lie, it's the truth. You seem very dismissive. You don't want to believe anything I have to say. It's alright. But I like your vibe though. You seem like you're, seem like you're fun. Would you, would you say you're a funny person? Yeah, I think I'm hilarious. Mm. But you can't tell me a joke right now, there. Why would I tell you a joke? Yeah, exactly. So you're just part-time hilarious. I think you're one of those girls that your girls find you funny. Yes. Yeah. And okay. that's, what, that's what's important. Men are not funny, so their opinions don't matter. As long as the girls find me funny, I'm that's good. That's what I was. <laughs> but you're never funny around your man. No. Why would I be laughing around him? I don't like seeing men laugh. So you're just sad around your man. Frown here. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. That's understandable. Mm. I guess I can say I'm a funny guy as well. You think you're funny? I don't think I'm funny. I've been told I'm funny. I actually don't I think... I haven't cracked a smile since I've been sitting here. I'm sure you have. No, I haven't. So you've been dead straight face? Dead ass. Okay, no problem. Don't worry, I'll make you smile properly when I see you. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that's cool. No problem. The daters have come to the end of their session. Now, they will make their decision and answer the ultimate question. Did they form a genuine connection? How was the date? It was decent. Not boring. The date was interesting. Um, she was giving me typical Lagos girl vibe. Um, but she actually seemed kind of funny and she seemed very, very straightforward. I think she knows what she wants in the man. I was trying to manipulate her answers, but I think she was very clued up. So it wasn't really working today. But it was a good day. I actually enjoyed it. I feel like he's a joker. Yeah. He seems cool. But yeah. She was giving me very laid back vibes, which she said she was anyways. Um, but she seems like she's an outgoing girl. I feel like I'll see. I feel like I've seen her in a few parties. There's probably why. There's probably a reason why I've not actually moved to her or spoken to her. I don't know what it is. I'll find out soon. But she seems like an outgoing girl. 
What do you think he said? Yes or no? No. I don't know. Because I'm really scared him away. <laughs> With my answers. So he probably said no. I'm not trying to be cocky. I feel like she might have said yes. Personally, I think the date actually went well. I just feel like there was just a bit of things I didn't like that she said, which I couldn't just say yes for. But I think she might have said yes because in my side, I feel like things were, things were pretty good. Um, obviously, the, the usual, she likes a guy with a lot of money. I like to, listen, I'm a giver. Like, I like spending money, like money on girls, on my girl anyways. But when a girl is so adamant on a guy having money, it's kind of a put off. Um, regardless, I feel like if she just told me that it's not really a big deal, I still would have spent money on her anyways, but I didn't like that part. The experiment, do you think it was successful? Yeah, I think it's fun. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Very fun, I guess. The experiment was actually very interesting. I think the part, the what got to me was hearing their voice, knowing they were right there, but not actually being able to see them and knowing that there's a possibility that you could actually like this person if you see them. But I, I felt like her personality was enough for me to say that I actually wanted to see her, but it was just little things. It was a good experiment. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I already figured he was going to say no. That was why I said yes, because uh, he came in mad audacity. So I wanted to find out who was talking reckless. No particular about being interested, but yeah. Stay tuned for another episode of Peek